know that we need to uh, create a file to pass it to Helm so you can install core. Uh, let's take a look at what are all the values that we can pass. So what we can do is we can do a Helm show values. And what that's going to give you is a JAML representation of all the values that are set in default in the values that JAML and that you can pass. So um, I I have uh, passed that into default in a file called default value so we can take a look. So the way I did it um, was just sending that to default values. So just show values and then send it to that. So if we take a look at that, here, um, the first part is something that we're going to need. So it has some comments about what we can set and what's being set in default. So since we're going to do with this installation with Nginx, we want to enable that and set that to true, and then the rest will be enabled. Um, there are other things like sidecar injector, operation center is default, uh, is set by default. So Another thing that we want to make sure that we set is the platform. In this case, we're going to set the platform to GKE. And then I'm going to scroll through this. Uh, I'm just going to do the minimum for this installation. Then we also talk about installing this with TLS. So here is where we need to set the TLS and enable that part. Uh, name the secret that we saw that we needed in, in the documentation and as well as passing the host name. So this is going to be part of our file. So I already created a file uh, with, with those parts. So if we take a look at that, I already set up Nginx uh, to true. And then in the operation center, I passed the platform, which is GKE. That's going to help us with creating the uh, persistence volume based on the storage class. So it's going to create a storage class so you don't have to do that manually. Um, and then the host name that we're going to use is cv-tutorials.com. And part of the ingress is just enabling the TLS, passing the secret that we're going to create, and then again, passing the host for that secret. So. First, we're going to, now that we know which, which values we need and, and, and we created a YAML file based, based on the default values that we got from this command, uh, let's create a secret first that is referenced. So so I already put my cert and my private key in this folder. So I'm just going to do a, I, I need sudo because those files are protected and I copy them for a protected folder. Just for an example, I'm, we're going to name that secret Clavis core TLS to match this file. And we're going to make sure that it's a secret that is TLS. And then I put the namespace just in case. So let's create that. That secret is going to ask me for my password. All right. So now the secret is created. So once the secret is created, now we can actually install Helm. So let's start by um, taking a look at what resources are going to be created with these Helm ch charts. So what you can do is, is um, do a dry run. Here, I already have that command. So we'll do Helm install a name for the release in this case is going to be cloud score then point into the repo the namespace and then we're going to pass the file that we have with this flag called dash dash values we're going to do a dry run debug and we're going to send that to a file called all resources so we can take a look at what resources are being created so let's do that And that file will have all the resources that Helm is going to create. So 
Um, here is a file with all the values already populated. And also you can see the role bindings, the, the cluster role, um, all the storage class that is going to create for you. So all the things that are needed for a core to be deploying Kubernetes. So you can take a look at that. Once you take a look and, and make sure that everything is fine, we can just do a Helm install and delete the dry run. All right. So right now it says it's going to spin up at the operation center. Once the operation center is up, uh, we can go ahead and put our uh, key and certificate for that operation center. But before, what we need to take a look at is what uh, service is created and what external IP we get. So that external IP can be matched to our DNS record. So let's take a look at everything that it's being deployed in that namespace. So here you can see the pod for the ingress controller. Um, a lot of times that ingress controller, uh, if you want to debug and you're not being able to access uh, the page for the operation center, you can take a look at these logs and you can find some things there. Um, then we have services, deployments, and the replica set. So this, we already have an external IP for the service, and this is what we're going to put in our DNS record to be available to access through the domain that we have. So we're going to copy this command, and this is going to wait until the pod's ready. <laughs> 